Former Florida State Center Michael Oho passed away on Friday after collapsing during a training in Serbia. He was 27 years old. The Nigerian-born basketball player was taken to a hospital in the Serbian capital, but the medical staff was unable to resuscitate him. The sudden and shocking passing has deeply shaken everyone in the club. Hojo was reported to have tested positive for the pandemic, but also it was reported that he had recovered. Local media reported that he passed away as a result of a heart attack. After going undrafted in 2017, Oho moved to Europe where he started his professional basketball career with FMP Belgrade. In 2018, he signed with the regional Adriatic League champions, Red Star Belgrade, where he was hugely popular among the club's fans. Farewell Good Giant, said a post on Red Star's fan page. Michael averaged 6.3 points and 3.3 rebounds in the ABA League and 4.1 points and 3 rebounds in the Euro League with Red Star. The Belgrade club released him at the end of this season and Michael was believed to be looking for another team in Europe. The towering 7 feet 1 inch center wore shoe size 21 and Nike reportedly had to spend 15,000 US dollars on a machine to create a size to fit him while he played college basketball in Florida. Michael graduated from Florida State University with his bachelor's degree in international affairs. According to Michael, my degree is something I owe my family. I promised my people because they know American culture can change anybody to anything. So I promised them just that I would be the same person I am and get my degree. I will not let anything distract me from school. My degree is something I promised my people and I will get it. Michael was a wonderful human being. He was a starting center for the Florida State team between 2012 and 2017, and once he served as team captain. He always had a smile on his face, and you would never know that you met a stranger. He will forever be remembered for the positive impact he had on the Seminole family. According to his coach, in all my years of coaching, I've never been around a person who captivated the emotions of everybody he came into contact with like the way Michael did. He had to be the most popular person in Tallahassee and certainly at Florida State University. Michael was a wonderful, wonderful human being. He was a great teammate and really represented what the Seminole spirit is all about. He was one of the purest Seminoles that have ever been around. He will be missed tremendously by the whole Seminole nation. 2017, Michael had said it was a privilege to be on the Florida team and to have Hamilton as a coach. Even when I wasn't good enough to do anything, when I was missing all my layups and stuff, just believing that this kid might just become something in life. He said of Hamilton's faith in him, become a good citizen, a good friend, good husband, and a good father. Hamilton always says his greatest joy is seeing his players being successful 15 or 20 years down the road. Either you're playing basketball or you have your own business or you have a job. You're a good husband and a good father. He said that's what makes him happiest. That's the joy of being a coach to him. I'm sure someday in the future, I'll be able to come back and thank him and thank FSU for the opportunity. I can't be more thankful. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the passing of Michael the Bastard.